I'm working on a diagram that shows how my company can better respond to customer requests. Responding to customers is a process that includes steps like assessing our technical capabilities, negotiating the bid, and developing the solution. In Microsoft Office Visio Professional 2007, I can make this diagram more effective by adding data about each step to the shape that represents it. By connecting data to this diagram, I can easily see that the negotiate bid step at 10 days is taking too long. With a new focus on improving the negotiate bid step, we can complete this project on time and within budget. Here's what I need to do to get this data into the diagram I'm working on. I'm going to get the data from this Excel worksheet. First, I'll import the data to Visio, and then I'll associate the data with the relevant shapes. To import the data, I switch back to Visio. I begin by going to the Data menu in Visio and choosing the Link Data to Shapes command. The Data Selector Wizard will walk me through the process of selecting the data I want to use. First, I choose the Microsoft Excel Workbook Data Source option. Then, I select the specific workbook I want to use. Then, I click Finish, and the wizard imports the data. The imported data appears in Visio in the External Data window. Now that the data is available, my next step is to associate it with the shapes. If I were only working with a couple of shapes, I could just select a row of data and drag it to the shape I wanted to associate it with. But in this case, because I have so many shapes, I'm going to click the Data menu and then click Automatically Link. I tell the wizard that I want to link to all of the shapes on this page. Now the automatic link wizard walks me through the process of matching rows of data to shapes. I can specify up to three conditions that link shapes and data, but in this case, I'm only going to use one. I choose Name in the Data column dropdown to specify the information I want to match in the Excel worksheet. Then I choose Name in the Shape field to specify the information that must match in the Visio drawing. Then I click Finish, and the data is linked. Since our company is still working out the kinks in our process, it's likely that the data in the Excel worksheet will change. When it does, I can update the diagram to reflect the changes by going to the Data menu and clicking the Refresh Data command. I can have Visio remind me to update the data every time I open this diagram. I just select the Show This dialog box on File Open checkbox to have the Refresh Data dialog box appear every time I open the file. Then, I click the Refresh or Refresh All button to begin the update process. I want to refresh the whole diagram each time instead of just selected data, so I'll click Refresh All. The Excel to Visio data connection is a one-way connection from Excel to Visio, so there's no danger that I'll change the data source inadvertently while I edit the Visio diagram. Now, I display the data using the new Data Graphics feature. I just select the shapes that contain the data I want to show, and then, on the Data menu, I choose Display Data on Shapes. This opens the Data Graphics task pane, where I can choose which data I want to display and in what format. Visio scans the data and recommends which fields I might want to display. There are several options for how to display the data, as shown in the Edit Data Graphic dialog box. For example, I'm going to use Color by Value, a data bar, and icon sets. You can see how the icons stand out. The exclamation icons show the processes that are taking five days or longer. But here, the red X icon shows that negotiating the bid takes 10 days. This is much longer than is necessary. So this might be a place where we could tighten things up. And here's my finished diagram. By connecting data to the shapes in my diagram, I can present what would otherwise be boring facts and figures in a manner that lets viewers see at a glance what's what. The possibilities are endless.